everyone out there in YouTube land. I am the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents, for what I hope will be a informative and helpful video for a lot of us out there who suffer from what can be an embarrassing problem to talk about. So we are going to speak about how to get rid of under boob sweat rash and under belly sweat rash and uh, thigh chafing. So I am going to preface this by saying I am not a doctor. <laughs> I do not have any medical knowledge. And if you have a situation that needs medical attention, by all means, go to your physician. This is just a cheap and easy way to get rid of those aforementioned problems that I have found works for me and I'm going to share them with you. So, and also this is for people who I would say, I would, who is the target audience? This is, I, this is for everyone who suffers from those things. But I think the people who suffer from those things that I'm trying to speak to is like those, those of us women out there who are a bit thick, if you have, this is not for people, I don't think this is for people who are morbidly obese because they have their own set of issues and I don't know what those, I, I wouldn't know how to handle that. So if you're just a bit chunky or you have large breasts and you have thick thighs and your belly is not flat, so welcome to the club, you may have this problem. Your boobs sag or you have an underwire bra you get some chafing, you get these, um, you get like a rash. It's like um, a red ring under your boobs. Um, if your belly is not flat and you have like a muffin top or your belly hangs a little bit and it, anywhere where, where you have fat that folds. So under your belly, under your boobs, and then of course, um, so the underbelly and under boob uh, sweat rash is kind of the same um, in the sense that it kind of looks the same. It's red and it, you know, it's like, it's irritating and it's uncomfortable. And the thigh chafing is a little bit different, at least for me. That's more when you're out walking in the summer and you're sweating and your thighs rub together, especially if you're wearing, you don't, you're not wearing pants, you're wearing shorts, um, that type of situation. So what is the helpful thing to do when you have this situation? Okay. So I have used medicated cream before uh, from my doctor and that helps. So if, if you feel like you need to go to the doctor, go to the doctor. But I found another way that helped instantly, basically instantly uh, made me feel better. And I just wanna let you guys out there know what that was. So here's what I would recommend. Um, first, make sure that here's some helpful tips. Make sure that you're using a clean loofah or washcloth. Also, always remember when you get out of the shower to completely dry underneath your boobs and your belly. Your thighs, you know, just make sure you're dry everywhere. You know, sometimes uh, we can, in our haste, not dry thoroughly under our breast area or belly area or thighs or whatever, you know. So make sure you dry off thoroughly. Um, and then here's what you do. And I researched this online, right? Okay, get a good antibacterial soap. Now, this is antibacterial. You don't have to use this brand. This just worked for me. This is Dove Men Care Skin Defense Antibacterial eliminates 99% of bacteria, micro moisture, body wash. So when I say use antibacterial soap, antibacterial soap made for the body, not antibacterial dish soap, not antibacterial hand soap, 
because I would venture to guess if you're using a harsh soap on a tender area, that's going to be a bad thing. So make sure that you're using antibacterial soap that is made for the body. Now, I happened to pick this up on sale at Walgreens for $5.99. The, the first time that I used this, it instantly made my uh, the affected areas feel better. I instantly felt a difference. I don't know if this will be the same for you, but it worked for me. So wash it thoroughly with an antibacterial soap. Then after you, that's uh, for your, well, that's for everywhere. You're cleaning everywhere. But that's mostly to target the under boob and the belly, not so much the thighs. The thighs is a different thing. We'll get to that. So then after you've gotten out of the shower and you've dried yourself completely, then use a good medicated powder. So I recommend this one. This worked for me. This is the Talc Free Gold Bond Healing Medicated Extra Strength Body Powder, a unique triple action formula, absorbs moisture, controls odor, relieves itch. And this is 0.8% menthol. I like that about this because it has a cooling sensation, which is really, really refreshing. So make sure that after you're dried off, you put this under your, on the affected areas, under your breast and under that belly fold, which we all wish you, we all wish we didn't have. And then of course the goal is going to be, well, to get rid of that belly fold, you lose weight, right? But most of us who have large breasts would like to keep our large breasts, <laughs> you know? So um, even if you lose weight, you're, you're most likely if your breasts hang, well, this is just getting just weird. You're going to have that problem. You're going to have a booby issue. Okay. So you can use, you, you can lose the belly issue, but you may, you're still going to maybe have a booby issue. Okay. Then what do you do for your thighs? Simple. Deodorant. Before you go out, and I only get the chub rub, the thigh rash, when I'm walking in the heat in the summer and I'm sweating and I'm wearing shorts. That's the only time I get chub rub and thigh rash. So what I do to avoid that is if I know it's going to be a hot, sweaty day and I'm going to be wearing shorts, Put some uh, deodorant on the inside of your thighs. And it, it works. It works just like you would use under your arms. Now, I would not recommend using deodorant under your boobs because you don't know what's in this stuff. They make different kinds of deodorants for different parts of the body. So by all means, if you want to check out videos on that, you know, so this is just what worked for me. Also, uh, I didn't mention the thigh area that I'm talking about for the deodorant is your inner, your inner thighs. If you have uh, a sweat or rash issue in your groin area, which is more where the the JJ is that part of your thigh then by all means the cleansing yourself with the antibacterial body wash and using some medicated powder on the inside of the, the thigh area the inner upper thigh not the woman part but just the inner upper thigh you could put the powder on there. Do not put this on your, the JJ. Do not put this on there, okay? And it's because I love you guys that I'm doing this completely embarrassing, hard to, <laughs> to talk about ridiculous video. But if it helps somebody out there, it helps them. Okay, now I'm just gonna add a little extra added bonus. If you want to uh, get a little uh, moisture and refreshing um, air after you 
uh, after you take a shower and you've dried off and everything. And I just, if you want to add a little light moisture to the body, um, I recommend the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This, it says Express Hydrating Body Spray. So, instantly cools and absorbs for radiant looking skin all day. So, you know, if you just want to uh, spritz to refresh you, your body, this is not for any of the rash or anything. This is just like an extra thing I'm just throwing in here. If you want to refresh your skin and give it some hydration, you can try the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. So again, all you need to, this is a, a solution. This is, like I said, not for a medical problem, but this is a quick, fast, easy solution that's gonna cost you about 20 bucks at your Walgreens, and it's going to make you feel a lot better this summer, hopefully, or anytime you have that issue. So, comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sins, and I will see you all in a future video. And share your tips down below for all your <laughs> areas, not just down below. <laughs> uh, follow me on Instagram at Shopping Sense. I will see you all in a future video. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land.